What's up guys, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you that's rather useful if you're looking to port forward or do anything else with your router settings. So in a lot of my gaming videos and other tutorial videos that involve port forwarding or accessing the router in any way, a lot of people get lost on the way to actually getting to their router's login page. Quite often I demonstrate what your router will look like with this web page over here, which is in fact just a demo that I've created to demonstrate how you do it. Of course, it doesn't actually do anything. None of these buttons actually work, but it works very well for explaining what you need to do. A lot of the people in the comments down below say that they can't find their way to this web page over here. And those who actually put the video on the highest quality just to input this URL up here and try it for themselves, find out that that doesn't work either. They need to visit their actual router's webpage. So of course, there's a couple of ways of getting there and note that when you do get there, most of the time you'll be asked for a username and password. And 99% of those times, if you're asked for a router username and password, the actual username and password will be listed or printed on the actual device itself. So I'd recommend having physical access to the router if possible. Otherwise, if you have access to a manual for that router, that would also be good. And of course, there are a bunch of default usernames and passwords like admin as a username, admin as a password, root and root, root and T-O-O-R as the password, etc, etc. But of course, those will all be specific to your router. With all of that explanation out of the way, how exactly do we get to our router's interface? Well, it's actually rather simple. If you're directly connected to a router that connects you to the internet, or simply you're connected to a router that you need to change some settings on. So the first thing that I'd recommend you do is head across to your internet browser of choice. And at the very top, simply try and visit 192.168.1.1. This is most of the time the actual default login page for whatever router you're on. As you can see, this is my router over here. And in order to get to the more advanced pages, I'll need to go ahead and put in a username and password. And of course, these for me are printed on my actual router itself. Once I put these both in, it'll take me to this page over here when I, where I can manage port forwarding settings, see who's on the network, etc, etc. However, assuming that 192.168.1.1 didn't work, another common one is 192.168.8.1. And by visiting one of these two pages, usually you'll end up in the right place. However, of course, this one isn't working for me because this isn't what I'm connected to. So from here, it depends what device you're on. The second step to finding out what your router's web page is, is by using a built-in command or a third-party app that you can go ahead and download. In today's video, I'll show you how to do it for both Windows and Android. I'm pretty sure you might be able to find the same app on iOS. However, I'm not entirely sure. To find out what your router's access page is on Windows, all you need to do is simply hold down start and press R. When this white box opens up, type in CMD and hit enter. Once you're over here, simply type in IP config, one word, IP config, and hit enter. Then you'll look for how you're connected to the internet. I'm connected via an ethernet cable, so you can see ethernet adapter, vethernet, etc, etc. Yours may be labeled slightly differently. It'll be the one with an IPv4 address over here. This is your computer's local address. And this default gateway at the bottom over here is your router's login page most of the time. 192.168.1.1. Of course, yours may be entirely different. After you go ahead and copy this by selecting it and right clicking, you'll be able to paste it into a browser of your choice, visit it and see if it works. For Android, however, things are a little bit different. An app that I like to use is called Ping Tools. Of course, there are tens of thousands of apps that serve the same features and purposes, However, of course, this is the one that I like to use and the one that I currently have installed. Simply by opening the app up, it gives me my device's IP, my router's IP, followed by my external internet IP. Of course, I'll have to blur out most of that. And right below it, it gives me a bunch of graphs, etc. But right in the top center is my router's default gateway, 192.168.8.1. It's currently running on a second router that is linked to my first router, of course, because that one gives me wireless, which my phone can use. Besides the point, if I visit that address on my phone, it'll work for that router. And as I mentioned, I have two routers linked together. So this number over here is only valid for that second router in the chain and not the first one. So keep that in mind, which router you're connected to is very important when you're trying to log into one instead of the other. 
If you'd like to access one from the other, it is sometimes possible, though not always due to security reasons. So make sure that you're connected to the right network when you're trying to port forward or change settings. And of course, if you have two or more routers daisy chained together, then if you're changing settings or port forwarding one of them, make sure that you port forward the rest of them to each other as necessary to get it from the external internet all the way to your computer if you're port forwarding. However, of course, that may be very daunting to hear and you may be very confused. I am planning on doing a video that simplifies port forwarding completely sometime in the future, including all of that. So make sure to check the description down below if you're watching this sometime in the future, as it may be linked down there. Otherwise, I'd recommend you go ahead and search for it. You might be able to find it on my channel otherwise. Either way, that's about it. Those are the two absolute simplest ways of getting to your router's admin page where you can go ahead and change settings, etc, etc. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.